Hi, my name is Adam Neely, and welcome to Excuse Me, Con Sir, but what the devil is it that you're doing here exactly, where I talk about some of my music. In this episode, we're going to check out Dream of Mahjong, which is a tune by my band Sungazer. Chart Toppers Sungazer. Now, in Dream of Mahjong, we really wanted to explore a septuplet based backbeat groove, which kind of approximates uh, what Questlove of the Roots calls playing with a drunk feel. I've also heard this called uh, playing unquantized, or my favorite, that Dilla thing. Now in a normal backbeat groove, you place the snare in beats 2 and 4, and then you subdivide in either 8th notes or 16th notes. In a septuplet backbeat, well, you subdivide in septuplets, which are seven individually evenly spaced notes that fit in the span of one quarter note. And if you don't play each one of these subdivisions, and you only put the kick and the hi-hat on certain parts of this subdivision, it sounds you're playing like you're playing drunk, or you're playing very unevenly. Now because the subdivision is so irregular, your ear accepts it, especially since you're already used to the idea of the snare being on beats 2 and 4. Now like a professor of mine from Berkeley, Dave Johnson, said, re re Repetition legitimizes. And that idea holds true for anything that you do in music that might be a little weird or off-kilter. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply... Now once the drums start playing all the septuplet subdivisions, it creates a very fast and frenetic sound. Now even at 90 beats per minute, all the septuplets kind of whiz by, and I really wanted to accentuate this with my production, so I added sort of an arpeggiator on top of that. And on top of that, I wanted to add a tapped bass line. Of course, I'm playing in septuplets too. Now besides the septuplets, the other element in Dream of Mahjong is of course the dubstep production. Now over the past couple years, dubstep has been associated with artists like Nero, Bass Nectar, and of course Skrillex for their use of the wub wub bass line. I love these sorts of sounds, so I really wanted to try and apply them to a slightly different context with Dream of Mahjong. Now at the core of it, these sounds are made by taking a low pass filter and uh, opening it up very quickly over a synthesized bass line. In other words, you take all the high end out of the sound and you quickly bring it back in to create the wub sound. And you do that with automation, which is where you tell the computer to change the parameters of a digital synthesizer very quickly. Now, low pass filter is the main thing, but you can also change things like bit crush depth. If you're doing FM synthesis, you can change the different uh, oscillator volumes. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do. And if you're interested in this, uh, I strongly suggest you check out either Tom Cosm's or Mr. Bill's tutorials on YouTube if you really want to start going down the route of electronic music production. Now because of the unique workflow of Sungazer, which is where Sean Crowder, the drummer, sends me an improvised drum solo and then I write music on top of it, I was able to create a fairly intricate wub wub type bass line to his improvised drums. <laughs> Now, to introduce a little bit more of a live element into Dream of Mahjong, we asked our friend Ivan Jackson to record some trumpet. And we overdubbed maybe, I'm going to say, like 30 of him. And then you get this big trumpet choir playing behind the seven tuplet group. Anyway, I hope that gave you some ideas, and I hope you enjoy Dream of Mahjong.